Well, the season of giving is followed by a month of purging the house of all the stuff you no longer need. You just can't really toss an old laptop or camera into the trash. Jason Davis of Tech to You is here to share how to safely dispose of old electronics. And Jason, I asked you um, if you were doing that, disposing properly of old electronics, and you said you weren't because of... Right, well, I'm already up to date, you know. So, so you don't have I'm any one of the nerds, Yeah, right? you've got all the, the good stuff, so you don't need to toss it. Yeah, Dina <laughs> thought, I mean, uh, Amy thought you were throwing stuff in the trash. So what are you supposed to do with your old stuff? Well, here's the thing. Your electronics you throw away, it's called e-waste. And e-waste can be pretty harmful to the environment because when your old tablet or phone or computer is incinerated or crushed in a landfill, it can release chemicals into the air, the ground, mm -hmm. and the groundwater. Mm -hmm. And these chemicals are like arsenic, mercury, lead, and sure. barium. So it's pretty toxic stuff. You see what they do with landfills, they, they cover them over and then grass and then it becomes something else. <laughs> right. So I mean, uh, Long Island, New York is like an entire landfill, so people actually would recreate or something on, right. on old landfills, so that doesn't make a point. So uh, properly doing and recycling e-waste, where would you take it? Well, it depends. If it's something big, uh, you can actually schedule a pickup at your house, you know, like an old appliance or an old TV. You can go to eWasteForGood.com. You can schedule a pickup. And the great thing about this website is based on how much you donate, the uh, company eWaste for Good will actually match your donation to a nonprofit that you choose. Okay. So it's really for a good cause. And if it's something small, you can drop it off at a uh, e-waste e recycle center or a kiosk. These, they usually have them at Best Buy right by the door. Mm -hmm. And Best Buy also takes big items at their customer service desk, so you can just take it over there and they'll recycle it. So if I have stuff like old computers or old TV sets, should I recycle those thinking they're no good anymore, or should I take them to some place that might be able to use them? There is a difference. Right. Well, you can actually see if there's any value. There's a few places you can go. You can go to gazelle.com. Okay. They buy and sell old electronics, um, but they usually like the newer working stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Amazon has a great trade-in program, and they accept way more. They accept things like uh, cameras, you know, accessories, sure. video mm -hmm. games, everything like that. And then stay Staples also offers an e-cash gift card with trade-in, so basically they'll test your item, make sure it's working, and sure. they'll give you a quote, and you can get an e-cash card. So for computers, recycling, or donating, what are some precautions we need to take before doing that? Right, so you probably have a lot of stuff there on your computer or your smartphone. So if you have a Windows computer, you're going to want to check out fileshredder.org, mm -hmm. and that'll get rid of all your data. It'll overwrite the part of your disk where your personal stuff is saved on. Uh, for Macs, if you have OS X, this is a built-in feature to the disk utility menu, so you can go ahead and find it in there. As far as smartphones go, if you have an Android phone, you're going to want to find the Restore Factory default settings. And also remember to enable uh, your phone encryption so that any data that might be recovered afterwards will be useless. But the new iPhones, they automatically encrypt your data, so that's kind of nice. What do you like for the app of the week? The app of the week this week is called GoodRx. Now, U.S. pharmacy and drug prices, they're not regulated, right? So you can save like almost $20, $30 just by walking across the street sometimes. So this app, it has over 75,000 pharmacies. Wow. It shows you discounts and coupons. You get store hours and locations all in the app. You save a lot of money. Right, and it even has uh, a search feature. You can search for the medication. It'll show you a pill image and the side effects of the pill. No kidding. Yeah, it's wow, that's really cool. Pretty comprehensive. Okay, so that's GoodRx. GoodRx. Dot com? Uh, it's just the app. So search oh, in the okay. App Store or there Google go. Play. Okay. It'll be there. Mr. Davis, thank you. Thank Good you. Good to have all. you here.